When ISIS invaded towns and villages in northern Iraq last year, hundreds of young Yazidi boys say they were forced to convert to Islam and become jihadi fighters. The radicalization program is part of the Islamic State's plan to recruit a new generation of militants. As Mandy Clark reports, boys young as 12 years old are being turned into killers. This is a terror camp for children as part of the Islamic State's plan to train up the next generation of jihadists. They call the indoctrinated boys the lying cubs of the caliphate. Yaha is just 14. He was captured after ISIS seized his Yazidi hometown. He spent five months in a terror camp, forced to work 10 hours a day studying the Quran and learning to use weapons. They brought dolls and told us how to hold the sword and how to chop off the head, he says. The children have been shown videos of beheadings and told by their ISIS trainers that they will perform the task one day. The terror group has already forced a child, no older than 12, to commit murder. I was scared when I saw that, Yaha says. He knew he couldn't do it. Earlier this year, ISIS released an execution video from inside Palmara, showing 25 children being forced to shoot the terror group's opponents at point-blank range. Human rights groups say around 52 children are believed dead, killed fighting for jihadists. Eight were suicide bombers. It's part of a concerted effort by ISIS to build up their ranks. They claim to have at least 100 terror camps. Some children are kidnapped. Others are recruited using gifts, threats, and brainwashing. But Yaha is one of the lucky ones. He managed to flee the camp with his brother and escape ISIS territory. Now safe in Iraq, he just wants to forget what he was forced to see. Mandy Clark, Global News, London.